here we are with a few VIPs in the background. We've come to Stanton House, uh, which is a very nice hotel near Swindon, and we've been invited to the VIP event with Bailey of Bristol. And uh, well, we are impressed. We've just arrived and had a cup of tea, and uh, you'll be able to see behind me one or two very nice looking units. Some have even got awnings attached. So we'll be taking a look at some of those in just a few minutes. And uh, in the meanwhile, we're going over there to have a natter all about motorhomes and anything else really. Join you in a second. Well, I've been walking around the uh, Bailey Autograph motorhomes uh, for some time now, chatting away with various people from Bailey and uh, uh, lots of people taking photographs inside and outside the vans and uh, we're going to step inside one now. Um, they also brought out the new Silver Alliance which uh, we've got one model, uh, one example of it here so we're going to have a look in that as well. Well, the new Alliance Silver Edition is a special edition and a lot more features on this one than the previous model. Let's go and have a look inside. Well, I'm in here with Joe at the moment. What do you think, Joe? First thing that uh, grabs you is the width of the van, isn't it? Yeah. It's wider than uh, some motorhomes and uh, Really nice look and feel to the unit in first first glance. Lovely big skylight opening the window on the front here and the Peugeot cab. Just a small step up into the cab and uh, all the usual features that you get with the Peugeot cab these days with the DAB digital radio and uh, so on, air conditioning and uh, full blinds on this one. So you've got the uh, cab blinds and the side blinds in the front here. And uh, lovely big lockers. Now Bailey have recently been uh, putting the really large lockers, locker doors on. And a uh, cavernous great locker there. That, uh, with soft clothes. Very attractive looking unit indeed. This one has the uh, front facing passenger seats as well and a table which clearly fits here so you'd have a dining area and uh, another big locker here lots of space for uh, all your goodies in there so all in all a good size lounge stepping back from it here excellent with scatter cushions. Into the kitchen then. A uh, little square stainless steel uh, sink there with hot and cold faucet and uh, window. The Thetford Triple X three burner hob with combination oven below and a Thetford fridge, big pun, Dometic fridge. Um, very adequate indeed. Anyone for tennis? So this one's the French bed model with wardrobe to the side here. Double doors opening out. Good size uh, wardrobe with the solar controller in there. So clearly a solar panel on the roof. Lots of space underneath there. Yeah. French bed, as I say, with lockers above. Some open shelves. There is a nice little locker here with a dressing area. And a mirror, power points. And into the washroom. 
more cupboard space to the left here with a window and the usual Thetford loo and end washroom is really quite good size um, nice uh, skylight for ventilation and a good size shower sink and again tap mirror lockers above the bed here um, again large locker doors opening out to provide plenty of space underneath um, for all your goodies and then there's space of course underneath the bed to store larger heavier items includes TV aerial Truma iNet ready heating and the usual Bailey control panel just over the door which has a fly screen so plenty of uh, features and uh, just noticing here the spotlights have USB connectors as well for those gadgets let's have a quick look outside so this is the uh, 76 4 model of the Alliance Silver Edition which is a special edition and from the rear as you can see very tidy looking van you can have a uh, cycle rack on the back there and uh, quite a smart looking unit altogether Okay, it's time to take a closer look now at the autograph. We're going to go inside the 69.2, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's an end lounge motorhome. See if we can squeeze past Joe. No, it's sold. I recognise uh, two ladies. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely making positive sounds, are we? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of who's and ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking through the cab here while the girls look in the washroom. I'm going to listen in to what they're saying. There's a little hanging rail in there as well to put your towel in. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. That's really yeah, nice. It's got two black holes in there. Yeah, you've got a little pull switch. Plug yeah. it home and cut the hooks. They're nice, aren't they? Mm. I like the splash. And the little bells. shelves, look. Yep. And they've got plenty of um, space underneath again. Oh, very nice. And a little radiator from the Aldi heating system. Big shower. Okay. Have to have one then. <laughs> I really like it. That's a really nice layout. It's a fit in there a treat. Just inside the door, look, you just shove them in there. Excellent. You like that, don't you? I do. What do you make of that then, Sheila? Nice kitchen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice splash back. Nice little circular um, stainless steel base and yeah. A sink. Yeah. Yep. So we've got a so we've got a table there, have we Sue? So yeah, you've got a separate area here, look. This is where you can this is where you can do your video so that I could go to bed. Ah oh, like we do now. Because I'm the night owl, aren't I? Yes. Yes. Ah. Lots of storage in here. Keys and stuff. It is really quite nice. As you say, there's a little workspace it's quite there, isn't it? Your keys yeah, you've got, you got your, you put your mobile phones in there, look. Oh, that's useful. Yep. And you could put all your camera equipment in here, look. Where? Yeah. 
There's another locker down there. There's another locker down there. Okay. You put all your cameras in there, look. Mm. Yep, yeah, excellent. And your folders. There's a cupboard here, isn't there? So there's a wardrobe That's above. Wardrobe. Yeah. Okay, there's plenty of hanging oh, space there, isn't there? Yeah. I like the outer heat. Lots of hanging space in there. And I like this little shelf too, as you say, yeah. it lends itself to uh, a little workspace there, doesn't yeah. it? Very good. Still got the lift up. This, this has got a proper work top that goes over the top of the glass bit. Yeah. So they've made that into a work top. Excellent. Instead of just a glass surface yeah. that you can't really use. We like that, don't we? And you've got a lift up flap at the end to extend the work workspace that end as well. Look. Yeah. Okay. And I like the drawers. Oh, I haven't looked at the drawers. Right. Oh, that's deep, isn't it? Yeah. There's Lovely three of those, look. Yeah. I like the clasp on them as yeah. well. Yeah, that's quite just to uh, quite prove, a, prove that there is three of them, yeah. Look at the nice splash And the one at the bottom. Russell Lovely Hobbs again. Russell, Hob Russell Hobbs microwave. And then you've got storage at the bottom for your saucepans. Okay. <laughs> and there's, I like the big fridge. And this is one of those um, slimline ones, isn't it? Still good size. There's plenty of room in there, isn't there, for two oh. people to travel. Excellent. What's in the cupboard at the top? Another nice storage cupboard. Yeah. For your light coffee maker. Things. You lightweight things or yeah. your coffee maker? Coffee maker and a kettle, I reckon, in kettle. there, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And we've got this is interesting. The nice, yeah, uh, nice for hanging your coats on. Mirror and uh, hanging Wait. hooks. Um, and there's storage under here as well, look, for quite a lot of storage underneath under there. the fridge. For your saucepans. More storage under there, yeah. Bit of pipe work, but that's not usually a problem, is it? Now you step up a little bit into the well, lounge, don't nice, we? It's like you do in the cab. Yep. Yeah. Nice lighting. Some, uh... I, I, I'm sold on these headrests. Now you like the corner headrests? Shut the door for a second. Oh, okay, oh, <laughs> You're getting too comfortable, aren't you? Yeah, I said to don't want to put my feet up. Yeah, so no, it too I, yeah. I, could, I could put them on my book. So those benches, are they going to be long enough to sleep on, do you think so? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you've got your feet on your book. With, head. with, with the cushions away at the back, you, you've got room there, haven't you? Yeah. With the back cushions taken yeah. away. So you could, yeah, single beds then, right? And then... Yeah. Uh, the same this side, it's just roughly the same, it is exactly the same length on this side as yeah. well, isn't it? So that's going to be fine. Magazine rack. Magazine rack. And USB uh, charger. Yep. And USB. Here. And there as well. Shelves. Plenty of plenty of those. Okay. With loudspeakers in the Storage. back for your audio. This one is a lift up one. Right. Mm. I've okay. got the storage underneath. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, that lifts up. Yeah. I'm not going to lift it up, but it does. Right. So you've got storage well, that, under there. That pulls the out, doesn't it? That to, to make and a double bed if you want to. Water tank under there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then this pulls out, doesn't it? This comes this way. Yep. Yeah. Slats. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. I see. That's how you make your double bed up as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got a drop down. Storage under there. Storage under Gosh, there. that's deep, isn't it? That's deep. Isn't Love it? the colour. Yeah. You. The uh, curtains and uh, cushions it, and so on all match in with well. the same colour scheme, don't they? So you've got storage underneath both, haven't you? And a uh, nice skylight. Big cupboards, aren't they? What about the blinds? What are the blinds like, Sue? They're same as ours. The same as our current ones. That way. Really I nice see. blinds. Yeah, lovely blinds, because you can, you can have half and half, can't you? I like this little storage area as well. Another little storage area here. They've got lots of little nooks where you can store little things. Yeah. And presumably that like would be your TV the point there, wouldn't and it? And above the door. And then this. Oh my word. Big cupboard. Yeah. They've all got shelves in. Yeah. Bailey are known for these big, large locker doors and uh, revealing lots and lots of shelving. And they're fixed. Yep. Really well fixed, that one. Good, nice really solid shelves. Fixed. Yep. Here's your uh, charge controller for your solar that's on the roof. And uh, Sheila was trying to show me something over here just now. It's a nice door. Just some nice features. I've got yep. lights on that step. 
and on the door floor lighting and on the door rail which is always handy when you're coming in at late at night and you need to mind the step very good and there's a nice window in the door with a bin yep. so there's USB in the little cubby hole up there where you can put your charger for your camera or your phone Unusual catches, aren't they? So this is yep. the storage above. For the kitchen, yeah. And there's something that clips on here, that's this. That clips up on there. That's look. right, yep, stop it falling down, yeah. I love that. It's a brilliant yeah. idea, isn't it? Yeah. Great. And Sue's just pointed out that we can get two large gas bottles in there, making it a good all year oh, round yeah. motorhome. Oh, yeah, that's right. that goes and, right the way through. Uh, we're checking out the uh, garage that. space. Well, you could have your little Folding pressing. bicycles That's would definitely go in there, sir. <laughs> could definitely. Yeah. Uh... Can you put an order? <laughs> That's lovely. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's our, our downsize. Yeah. Not a lot so we could definitely get our folding lovely. bicycles in there, couldn't we? Yeah, I love it. Have it. Have it. Have it ready. Oh, be ready next year. Moving around the back. Yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, lovely. That's really nice. So here's the other side. And Sue's just uh, showing us the garage yeah, from the other side. Yeah. We could yeah. definitely put our fold-up bikes in there, couldn't that we? Is, that is a winner. That's bikes a real great space, space there. there. Too, yeah. Your motorhome awning. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's your toilet there or not? Yeah. yeah. So your, um, your toilet locker is here. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, the flush would be from the main oh, tank. Um, that's for filling your fresh water. Oh, you can fill it up with the, yeah. with the pump. That's right. Yeah, so there's a whale um, point there, and that's where you put your um, your mains electric connector. It's lovely, isn't it? Sue's in love. Yeah, I'm definitely in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sold. Right, sli slightly larger Bailey autograph this time. The 794T. And uh, so go and have a look inside. Uh, again, the same door, lovely window with uh, <coughs> bin and a blind. And a uh, nice low chassis here, easy to step into. And uh, in this one we have a little lounge here with um, passenger seats. This is similar to ours, it's that you've got the Extended bit there. Yeah, yeah, extended, uh, extended seat there. We can actually do that. We can actually do that with ours, um, but we always leave the cushions at home, don't we? Um, lockers again. Step up into the uh, lounge area. Similar again to the uh, previous van we looked in. Now the nice thing about this uh, model is that you can sit as a group. And you've got a lovely little lounge area here with a table in the middle to entertain. Again, the uh, lovely shiny finish on these lockers and uh, and the grey, like a hessian feel to it almost. Very interesting. Now under here, we've got a TV point, so the pull-out TV. open locker space but there is a nice little lip there so your uh, magazines or whatever you store in there won't fall out again spotlights with USB and coming round to where the rabble have gone down the other end let's see what they're saying I like the layout you've got, you've got a slide door These sliding door yep are the same, but so this sliding door is going to separate the van the bedroom area. And I love the curved unit in the middle. They're not them deep steps. They're nice now this steps. is interesting. We've always said about the um, bed so being the high. Got We've got two quite shallow steps yeah. there. But they open them up. Um, into the bedroom. You can open that one down. So Joe's just opening oh, up that. a That's sliding huge. drawer. Good gracious. That's a yeah. big drawer. You get a lot of stuff in there. Mm. But at the back you've got that big storage. And you've got a big garage. Yeah. So the beds are a little higher than usual, but because you're up on the elevation there, it doesn't seem that way, does it? No, this is not, that don't cover And your headroom as well, yeah. I 
that's all very slick. Excellent. Isn't that? They've already thought about that. I like that. Now that's a bigger wardrobe. That's my wardrobe. That one's yours, Fred. So there's a larger wardrobe there. <laughs> Okay. There's a man and a lady. So this bedroom here, we are looking at two single beds really, aren't we? Um, with this centre uh, area here. Now there's a big drawer, I can see there's a, a big drawer here. So um, all your goodies, clothes and all sorts going in there. Really good. There's some interesting new features and design styling in here, which um, is market fresh for me. Really nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, one thing that the girls didn't point out is that the freezer here and the fridge have separates, which Sue and I really like. But Sue's just revealed the secret. Oh, sorry. They open both <laughs> ways. And the presentation we had just now showed you this and it almost made you dizzy because you were trying to make the. Uh... You have a go, look, you open both ways. Sheila's going to have a turn now. We're impressed with this, aren't we? <laughs> Made by Dometic. Okay, then sit back. How on earth does that do that? Very good. So this is the uh, wardrobe that Joe is looking in just now. Um, pretty good hanging space, enough for me. And, and there is a lower rail as well. So uh, you've got twice as much storage really in that sense, haven't you? Uh, mirror. And uh, TV point in the bedroom. Moving back into the kitchen, just down a small step into the kitchen which I showed you there and just now, we have got an electric hob with three gas burners and a rather fancy looking kettle. I don't think the kettle comes with them at home but uh, for demonstration purposes that's superb because it gives you um, an idea of you know, how a kettle would sit on your oven. It's always difficult to imagine your own things inside a motorhome when you're buying a motorhome. We have a separate grill and oven in this one and storage below as you can see. An overhead storage here. There's yeah, two swinging no, doors I, on I this one. That um, yeah, which again it's a nice kitchen. I like this. Russell Hobbs uh, microwave and the, uh, the sink round stainless steel sink with bowl and drainer. Let's have a little look at this washer. Now this to me looks quite large. Yeah, I can see a mirror straight away. And a sink, yeah. And that turn around your Which again is quite a nice uh, nice looking worktop there. I like this um, continuous worktop that goes around the corner. And the and the the toilet bowl swings round so that you can have it in different directions. Back goes in there, don't it? Yep, yep. So that's the back of the, the uh, lid of the loo goes back into that space there. And this is a wet room, so all the floor is taken up with um, a sealed floor. And we've also got a nice cantilever door here so that you can shut off the uh, shower area from the toilet, which you know really does protect the, the washroom area the basin area from the shower. Mm. Plenty of space for dressing yeah, in there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. You know, so, uh, and cupboard space. We're looking at, uh, yep, a shallow locker for all your lotions and potions and things there. And a skylight for ventilation. Always important in the shower. Now this, now this garage is, uh, I have to say, even bigger than the last. Um, definitely folding bike material there, awnings and all sorts. The same rear as the other van. Uh, we've got the camera, uh, reverse view camera uh, on the back there, which uh, is essential for me. I really need to have that. So what do you think of the, uh, the graphics and the livery? What do you think of the... Really striking, I really like it. You've got your nice plush windows like we've got. 
Yeah. Got another garage on this one. This is the biggest one, isn't it? This is the bigger one. Let's going to have a look in this one in a moment. Um, the bronze colouring is really nice, isn't it? Okay, another Bailey autograph, and the 74.4 this time. Slightly different layout. 7.4 meters long. Um, the upholstery in this one is uh, slightly darker, with the grey uh, leather or part leather seats. The lounge is similar to the previous one. I have to say, I quite like this upholstery. Um, it's probably a little more practical with the dogs. Do you think, Sheila? Yeah, I like, yeah, I like the lounge. Well, I like this yeah. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like that it's personal taste, of course, isn't it? Yeah, but you, but they've colour toned the uh, the top round here with with the grey as well, haven't they? That's nice. Um, yeah, didn't that's mention nice. the blind on the window, <laughs> which is uh, very good. And you've also got a fly screen, which um, I should be able to pull down. Here we are. Again, you can go half and half with that. And. Uh, Yes, but that, I do like the upholstery, I really do, on this one. And this is the option, isn't it? Um, yeah. Again, very large lockers. Yeah, that one has, is good, it hasn't got, that one hasn't got a shelf, it's got a choice. And we're coming around yeah, to this enough. side. Dude. Huge lockers, aren't they? Cavernous lockers. So yeah, deep I as well. Like these cubby holes, I like these. Yeah, they run all of them. Look at that diggy little one. That's a lovely idea. Look. Yep. And then you've got one here, look. It's all your camera equipment. Storage space. Yep. yep. I like the kitchen area. I still yeah, like you've got the slab cupboards. That first one better. I've got that shoe cupboard. cupboard. Yeah, it's a shoe cupboard that's sold that it to me. <laughs> The same drawers. Yeah, seen it's before. really quite a nice kitchen again, actually. I really like this. Um, and then you've got the with the drop down worktop so um, that gives you that amount of that extra amount of cutting space there, doesn't it? So you can store things up here. Dealers. Recess, so as you pack them in properly. Yep, a little recess. Yep, yep. I'm not sure that I'd want to leave my tea caddy up there though um, while I'm driving along. Not the way I drive. So we've got hanging space in here. Wardrobe, and you've got a space where you can put your table. I'm assuming that's okay. where the table goes. Yep. And storage Aldi underneath again. there. I expect you lift that up. And yeah. Have a look under there. So uh, we're a French bed in the corner on this one. Yep. With a bit of a cut off here. Lots yep. of locker space above again. You've got lighting underneath the units, uh, which yep. is quite uh, And the lighting on the te yeah, bed head there, it's got USB. uh, USBs. I can see that from the little tags. Now we're going to, into the washroom, which is a corner washroom. I was a little bit nervous about these because um, we have had a corner washroom which was fairly limited in space. But I have to say, having the shower in the corner there, nice overhead. Um, Pop up. I like the round. And the toilet. Yeah, I like the round here because I was Cupboard. when we had the side bed. Oh boy there, look. And then the sink is round this side. There's no window in this one. You have got the LD radiator and a nice storage cupboard under the sink. And there, I reckon there's sufficient room. I'm gonna come inside and shut the door. Yeah, now that proves to me there's room here to get dressed. If you've got the blinds open in the motorhome, I would probably just about have room here to get dressed. Um, but certainly with the door open, there isn't a problem at all. And there's a sliding divider here, yeah, so that we can got. shut the bedroom off yeah. from the rest of the van. Always useful when you've got doggies in the fridge again. We'll just shut that door first. And storage yep. above and below. Lovely. Natural position for the tail. One of my very favourites, that one. A nice firm lock, locks on those, I do like those. And under here. Yep, plenty of storage and there's the table under there. You can see that. Yeah, the Bailey Autograph 792F. This one has the awning on it, which uh, is pretty impressive. 
Prima awning. Um, and it's one of their air awnings. And again, the same uh, livery as before with the autograph, all the new colours. And this one's with the darker uh, upholstery again. Really like this. Um, nice big parallel lounge there. And look at the space. I mean, I'm walking back now into the van and you can see the space in this particular model is uh, amazing. And just walking down, standing between the seats here. And uh, I'm joined by some posh cats. And uh, just striking just how much space there is in this lounge, Sheila. You know, here it's amazing. And uh, you've got the uh, very similar layout to our Bolero with uh, just a straight parallel kitchen here, no L shape on this one. Um, French bed. Can't take passengers now. Loads of storage. Uh, storage. And what's the washroom like, Sue? Let's go and have a look. Lovely. Mm. No, no. Oh, I've got a fridge with it between the door. Yeah, and I like this wrap around shelf, Sue. It really yeah. is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really um, nice. And uh, storage cupboard here. Quite a lot of space here for changing. Very generous with the extra width. So showing us some cupboards there, two doors to the cupboard, a long mirror across the full width here, and uh, you could do the funky chicken. Plenty of room. There's a little uh, skylight. A little skylight for the and you've got the swing down swing parallel down. that's in all our showers. Really so good, that isn't it? Really good idea. I've never seen that anywhere else. Yeah. You've got another hecky above you. Push up one. Another little uh, skylight there, which is really good, isn't it? You often find these washrooms do get steamed up. Pretty substantial for storing your toilets. Uh, you enjoyed the day? Yeah. No way, day. Okay. So in the bedroom, French bed. Cupboard in my little vanity unit. That goes back a long way. It's very deep. Yeah, deep cupboard, isn't it? Wow, it is, yeah. yeah. Lots of uh, stuff in there. And there's a mirror just behind the door there, Sue. So. Yeah, it's like a vanity unit, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so you could do uh, your makeup and whatnot. Yeah, you've got, you got your plug there, so you dry your hair, yeah. what have you. Looks like you could actually put a TV there if uh, you've got your aerial and your 12 volt for a television. So your TV in bed? Not in bed, do we? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we're just to my left here is the wardrobe, and this is big. Oh, have a lovely big uh, space there for hanging and shelves in the bottom. Really useful. And the Aldi heating, of course. Yep. Again, a nice shelf each side for your nice cup of tea. That's and useful. I, I tend to put my glasses on them. They're um, big cupboards, aren't they? They yeah. come out a long way. Quite yeah, deep. They're deep cupboards, aren't they? Yeah. The lockers, deep, I mean, they are. And I like the way that they've varied dis the shelving as well, some with, some without. Yeah, you can put stack boats. Yeah. Two more there. You've got the little constant. Ah, the sliding door to se separate. And oh, we've got this again. I can have another little play. Yeah. <laughs> just have a play with it. It's lovely, isn't it? Joe said, what would happen if you opened both of them? <laughs> I don't think you can open both of them. I don't think it's possible to open both of them at the same time. The mechanism won't let you. We're going to go and have a look at uh, Aaron and Vicky's van <laughs> and see what they like about it. Do you like the dark upholstery or the light upholstery, uh, Vicky? Oh, no, yes, I prefer the dark, yeah. The reasons for my doggies, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Nice lounge. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant, isn't it? Show me the bedroom, Sue. So I think uh, this is the clincher for the... They're short people. For Aaron and... <laughs> Aaron and Vicky have... Uh, Pointed out, this is a cracking bedroom. Yeah, it is a lovely bedroom. And there's there's a couple of vanity units, one each side. That one's the ladies' side, and that one's the man's side. All right. Okay. Got no mirror is there a the other one? Oh, I see. This one's got a mirror for the ladies. Yeah, and a nice cupboard underneath. Yeah. And then uh, 
island bed, which, I mean, that is that is huge. Uh, mm. Lovely big bed. Locker see the side, wardrobe space either side. Mm -hmm. And then, as you say, the same this side. There's a TV point there. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. And the two little steps up so that you can get either side of the bed. And that one was the 79 for I with the island bed. Now who would have thought you'd see Bertie Badger and Bob Earnshaw side by side? How about that then? And they talk about motorhomes overhanging. Well, we're doing a quick march across here. Hello young man. Hello. Well fancy coming all the way here to meet you. I know, all these miles away. You only live away. three miles away. I know. Because yeah. you're going to start thinking I follow you everywhere. Oh, you? I think you are. I think you're stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you, Aaron. And you, and you. Yeah. Sue and Shayla are playing with the fridge again. Top bit work. This one work. Fascinating. Your turn. You can pull it that way. That's a great idea. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, lovely. I'll put steps at the back and mine at the front. <laughs> you can see what I have to put up with, can't you? Oh dear. Oh Someone's driving away. They're Sue. driving away. Sue's motor has been driven away. Bye bye. I know. Oh. 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 I thought he was scared. I might pitch it. <laughs>